Meantime, powerful winds fuel the flames this afternoon in California, leaving millions of people in critical danger. In fact, we're learning it could take weeks to contain the three major wildfires burning out of control. The numbers, they are staggering. 31 people are dead, more than 6,000 homes destroyed. CBS 2's Roseanne Teas is now here on the growing wildfire threat. As if California didn't have enough to worry about, another new brush fire ignited today along a freeway in Simi Valley, north of Los Angeles. Just hits home on the fact that we are still in significant fire weather and the existing fire is not our only concern. Smoke from the peak fire eclipsed part of the 118 freeway, at one point forcing cars to turn around. In a town called Paradise, some drivers were not so lucky. The death toll climbs as more bodies are found, some in these cars, and families search for their missing loved ones. Well, this is my daughter, Sarah Rathburn, and her boyfriend, Harold Doty. It's just hard to process. It's hard to process, and it's just, you know, it's just massive loss in such a short amount of time. The campfire in Northern California has become the most destructive in state history, destroying more than 6,400 homes and is still only 25% contained. To put the size of these fires in perspective, the campfire has charred 176 square miles. That's three-fourths the size of the city of Chicago. Another big blaze, the Woolsey Fire, closer to L.A., has burned 142 square miles. That's larger than Springfield and Rockford combined. Entire cities are still under evacuation orders, which has led to another problem, looters. I hear there's these roving bands that are going in and, and uh, pilfering things. With strong winds and dry conditions expected for the rest of the week, the danger is far from over. In the control room tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.